got you away from turret <laughs> for the oh, I'm dead. Yeah, or when Alistair top was a thing, but here we go. It's going to be engagement action. Crown up rotates here. up to the top side, overheat in onto ADD. He goes low. That's going to be the seismic shove. Forces out the flash, but he still goes down. First blood picked up by QV. AD losing in almost every way in the early game, which you didn't see that already earlier yesterday. Is Here we go. Yeah, going to do the lockdown here. It's Max going to get moved back in. He just gets taken down. Body slam not even required. Find an opening to go ahead and pick up that first drink of the game. Ocean over to them. Mountain will be the next one around. This is going to be Shockwave now down in on the ground. Flag and Drag comes through. Ambition here to try to keep his Talia safe. The That's a kill. Out of the Cataclysm comes up with a hit. Now Ambition not going to be landing that cast. It's saved right at the last second by Core JJ. And a half thousand now on the trip. Tail ADD here to back up. It's going to be the charge coming through as Cuba arrives. Latches straight in immediately onto ADD. Jumps him out of bed. Rifterald going low, but it will be taken by Beyond. Has the spike to go ahead and pick that one up. Now the Flag and Dragon knocks up Ambition. He goes down. Juve really far forward. Kind of a no man's land. Will be losing out on Scarlet as he tries to kite back. And Ruler is caught out in the Cataclysm. Hero's entrance from Vex takes him down. They do answer one in onto Beyond, but so far still going to be the two for one in favor of MVP plus the Rift Herald. SKT and Longju of being able to actually take the Rift Herald. We see the replay was well claimed. Ambition. Thought that he had the latitude to try and body block it being picked up. He didn't. He could turn on to Cube as well. Samsung weren't really committing and they weren't really making it their last Alamo. So in the end, it was pretty awkward stuff from them. With a comp that does so many things well against a comp that only does one thing well, which is fight in territory like this. In the much ground, but it set them up for the take of the end. I still respect being shown. Ultimate stuff. Oh, Speaking of ultimate. Cataclysm with the oh, heroes just coming through. Max yet again, just stomping out Ruler from the skies, comes down. And finds the kill. Now taunts in onto Ambition. He goes up being ahead like they are at the moment. Come to that crucial Baron fight. Pull it off again. Be huge. Ambition going for it. the hero center coming through for Max. Not going to find anything this time. And Beyond actually goes insanely low. And the fate comes through. Locks him in. Shockwave in onto Core JJ. He'll flash away. Keep himself alive right at the last second. But the deadly flourish from Maha. Throwing down the control wards. Denying the vision out here from Samsung. Already down to about half HP. Remember, they do have that mountain drink. It's charge coming through from the backside. Cube going in. Ambition waiting to go over the wall. 2,000 HP on that Baron. It's way too late for the body slam. Won't be able to come up with the seal beyond. Spikes it away. Now Cube just wreaking havoc onto ADD, but he gets knocked off of Skarl. Goes low. Has to retreat. In the meantime, Cataclysm comes down in on top of Ambition. Massive taunt comes through from Max, but he still pays for it with his life as Core JJ scoops up the kill. Two for zero so far from Samsung. Looking for more. What deny these Baron buffs from coming through? Flash forward from Ruler comes up with a kill in onto ADD. Can they find more? Shockwave. One rotation at one second sitting at 2,500 HP and the next second dead. Watch the Baron HP here. It's really interesting. So it's at 13. It's made at 2,500. And then by the time Ambition completes his uh, body slam over, it's dead. And from there, they've got the objective. But Cuvee in the front line and stays alive for the longest time. Even with the full channel of the Jin ultimate, it's a four-man chase on the side of Samsung Galaxy. They largely do clean up. Only error really is made by Crown, our regular season MVP last season, not respecting the fact that the Shockwave was still up. Yeah. All right, let's get that seismic shove, but it's taken down. They keep their hopes alive in the game, and now they're going to be looking for the fight. Cancel Beyond, on the ultimate. Yeah, immediately canceling that one out. Now the pitch from the side as ADD goes low. Heroic entrance coming through. Will pop up Cube. He's not going to have HP. Almost down off the Scarl. Well, the back side of the fight. Cataclysm comes down straight in onto Ruler. But he's got to flag and drag his way out of there. But he still goes down beyond the first one to fall. And ADD going to follow as soon as the double kill comes through for Ruler. Nice weave as well. Yeah, Crown trying to cut them off. Forces out the flash here as Maha tries to retreat. Max just as punching back in underneath the turret. But Ambition is... Tanky enough to go ahead and push in, says no problem here guys, you go ahead and finish him off. A triple kill delayed for Ruler as he picks that one up. Now they're looking for even more Maha, dead to the right side underneath his own turret, will fall. The turrets are under siege, first one getting ready to go down, Ambition playing very far forward. Trying to cheat Ian back, make sure that he can't get the shockwave down onto his teammates. Exit's now exposed, triple man shockwave does come through, several members low, score JJ tries to retreat, Ruler's gonna get picked off at MVP. They will actually hold on to this Nexus. They do keep the game going. We dropped that overlay thinking the game might be ending. Drake not spawned yet, so will not be heavily punished. We see the replay, and this is totally different. Maha hears the charge and cancels ultimate. I imagine that was a cancel on his part. Can't know for sure, of course. And from there, finally, Samsung are allowed largely to play front to back. Only a single man shockwave. The heroic entrance not doing massive work either. It was already used defensively onto the position that Maha occupied. And I love the Weaver's Wall, forcing an instant flash from the Orianna. 
Max leaving as well. And from here, just teleport back in. Home guard coming through from the Kled. From there, really clean stuff from Samsung. Finally, flipping the script that had been written. MVP team fight wins to the last couple. It gets a little bit messy after this replay back for and sure. Forth against each other in this mid lane. Gonna work them back. It's a recall coming out from Maha. Samsung, they want to go in with this one. The chain of corruption comes down in onto Max. Weaver's wall cutting off ADD at the Galio. And look where Samsung is going. They're going to go ahead. They're just going to chase straight in onto Maha. Hero's entrance coming down. Shockwave completely going to win from the side of Ian. What's the and priority Samsung, here for Samsung? They want to just open up straight in onto the Nexus. QB still jumping in onto Maha. Finishes him off as he gets knocked off the scar on Crown. Cheating back around towards the fountain on his lonesome. Will not be able to finish off this Nexus by himself. It might just pay for this one with his life. He dies, still three members of Samsung, starts to back away. Maybe they've learned something. Blizzard comes through, redemptions on both sides. MVP trying to hold on. TP out from QV, went back to base, will be rejoining the team. And Ruler is here, and he's full HP. He just get into position, get his hands on that next. See QV dashing straight forward, trying to do just that. Knocked off the scroll yet again. Cataclysm comes down, locks in three members. But the Zonius has to be popped by ADD. He's not outputting damage. He'll get taken down. Another double kill going over to Ruler. The triple to finish off the game as he kills Max. And 36 minutes on the clock. Definitely messy from both sides.